So Darius, I'll start off with the easy one. Just to, just assess your own play through the first two games. My own play? Yes. Uh, hasn't been up to expectations, but uh, I know as season goes on, I'm gonna get better. If that's what happens every, with everybody every game, they get better when the season goes on. But uh, we gotta make it quick. So that's how I see myself. I'm never satisfied with my own play. So every time you ask me, you always tell me I need to get better. So. Go ahead, John. Darius, you, you, you had that great game against them last year. Do you expect to see a little bit more attention uh, after what you did to them last year? Yeah, uh, during the whole season, I'm going to have a lot more attention on me than I did last year. I'm going to get a lot more double and triple teams. Uh, I've learned that the first two games. So, um, But I also I always expect myself to make a lot of plays every game, and um, it won't change. Back to you, Greg. So you mentioned getting double teamed. Um, that goes with playing inside on in a defensive line. But is it happening more as you've gotten older and gotten better? Yeah, especially this year. Last my freshman sophomore, year, I really didn't get double teamed that much. During towards the end of my junior year, I started to get double teamed a lot. But this year, they're really keen on me and my brother scheming off us. So I'm definitely getting a lot of double and triple teams. Go ahead, Chuck. Okay. You and Dante combined for five sacks last year against Baylor. What what is it? What what kind of a challenge is Charlie Brewer for you guys? Um, he's he's a really skilled, very skilled quarterback. Um, but we just got to contain him in the pocket. And uh, with our game plan, with our scheme, we're gonna go up. We're gonna contain him in the pocket. But um, honestly, just every opponent, I feel like it's the same. You know, we just got to play our own game. And when if we do, he'll take care of himself. But just Charlie Charlie Brewer in general, he's a very good quarterback. We'll go to Cody Nesper next. Uh, hey, Darius. I was just wondering if you could kind of walk us through what it's like to be double teamed and w what are things you have to do differently and what are things you can do to kind of beat double teams? Uh, to get double teamed, it's at first you engage in the first guy, but then I know sometime during that play I'm going to get chipped or blocked or somehow. But um, in order to, like, play against double team, you got to stay low pad level and you just got to just keep your feet moving. If you stop your feet, you're going to get knocked over. And if you have too high a pad level, you're going to get knocked over. So really, you just got to be perfect against them in order to uh, like beat it. We'll go to Kevin Kinder. Darius, I know he doesn't play alongside you, but is it different when the bandit is playing on the line versus, you know, back in, in kind of a mic position in terms of what you're thinking, what you're trying to do? I mean, I know obviously you still got run fit responsibility. So does that change a little bit? You know, at times where you're going, what you're doing, do you have to keep all that in mind? Um, yeah, because there's, no, there's another guy that's beside me. That's why I got to keep in mind. But at the same time, I got my own responsibility. So, really, I wouldn't say it affects me, but I wouldn't say it don't affect me either because I got to do my job in order to free the bandit up, and he's got to do his job to free me up sometimes. So, really, it's just we're kind of working together. Thank you, Greg. So, so Darius, a two-parter here. Um, going back, your first Mountaineer – event game was how old were you do you remember it and now that you've been here four years and you, and you know obviously you followed this program very closely has it been what you thought it would be is college football different or the same as you oh uh, it's completely different you know you really don't know how what to expect unless you go through it i mean i had dreams of like like being successful at this level but i never really you don't really know how it feels till you go through it but it's a good feeling you know uh but honestly, call I came to college to get to the NFL, and that's what I'm planning on doing. That's what I, I, my like my goal is. So really, I, overall, yeah, it's been different, but been the same too. Next question is from Skylar Callahan. Hey Darius, I know this is uh, you know two different teams, two different coaching staffs and players. Uh, but two years ago, when you guys struggled to Iowa State, you bounced back against Baylor, uh, and another frustrating loss last week. Is this kind of do these frustrating losses kind of help motivate you a little bit extra in, in, in having a nice bounce back week the following week? Yeah, it always hurts losing whenever you put your all on something. But um, at the end of the day, if it don't work, you got to go to the drawing board back on Sunday and then work at it throughout the whole week to hopefully get a dub this week. But um, you can't really dwell on really losing because it will affect your like your next game. You know, Coach Les is always like, don't lose two games. Don't lose two games in one. Like, don't lose one game and then – 
bring that emotional energy to the next game and then lose it because you lost one. So, like, really, we just got to just put it behind us and flip the, flip the chapter and move on. Okay, Mike, go ahead. Darius, how's it going? Good. Good. Um, I'm wondering if you plan on finding a sideline reporter at all at any point during this game. And uh, more to that, having fun in your position and being confident, whether you're doing something like that or you're getting doubled, tripled, seems really important because the way teams play you or just play that position in the nose, it could be not fun and it could drain your confidence too. Um, those two attributes, how important are they as much as you know being strong or being smart too? Uh, being co- confidence really goes into is a is a big factor because if you're not confident, you're really not going to go 100 percent. Because if you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what the assignment is, you're not going to go full speed. But if you know everything, then that makes your confidence boost up and helps you make more plays. But being confident in my position, along with the other position on the line, you got to be because you're it's you versus the man in front of you. And if you watch film all week, and if you prepare like you're supposed to, you're going to be confident going to the game. So, honestly, just confidence is a big factor in football in general because if you're not confident, you're not going to succeed. And back to you, Greg. So, uh, get back to how old were you when you first attended a Mountaineer game? What were your memories of your early childhood coming to, to games here? I remember going to, I think I was like 10 or 11, I'm pretty sure, whenever we played LSU. We I didn't really I didn't go to the game, but my mom and I and Dante used to just come up during game days and just kind of just walk outside around the stadium just to get the feel for it. Cause, and that's all really we ever needed because that's what it was a good feeling. But um yeah I remember going to a couple back when I was young. Didn't really know what was going on, but I just was, I was just happy to be here. Go ahead, Greg. And then and then Dante, what's it mean to play along a guy that you know well, and and. and how does that help you that you know what each other is doing? It means a lot because if you know what each other's doing, yeah, that's when the confidence plays in. Because like, okay, I know Dante's gonna do his job to where he's gonna free me up, or like vice versa. So, playing against my brother and it builds confidence for sure because I know he's gonna do his job and he knows I'm gonna do mine. So at the end of the day, playing with my brother's honestly the best. <laughs> to you, Sean. Hey, Darius. Um, Coach Leslie Benson, that outside of you and Dante, that some of the younger guys need to step up, um, Akeem, Quay, and then um, just how have they done? And then uh, Jordan Jefferson, what's the difference between him last year and him this year at this point? The uh, Quay, JJ, and Akeem have done really good during practice. They've, they're trying the hardest to get better every day. I coach them a lot. I tell them what they need to do during this play or, like, what stance or alignment they need to work on. I try my best to get them prepared so it's safe. I'm tired. They can they go in and they know what to do. But um, difference between them, JJ last year, he's got really strong. He's gotten very strong. He's working his uh, feet better. He's honestly just took a step forward. So that's good for all of us. 